just a quickie. At the back of an envelope, as you can see, piece of old paper. Don't know what I'm going to do. Got a circle there. Now, what shall we do? Uh, we'll start somewhere. There's an edge here. Yeah, you can do an edge, for instance. Well, you can make a border around it. We'll leave that for a second. This is just going to be a very quickie. I don't know what I'm going to do. So I start here. And I'll follow it round. I'm going to do a, like a scroll here. Shall we just do it? Just doodling. See, we're putting the ideas there first. We don't know which way we're going to go. I could start there. I could go back on this one here and go that way. You see, just wobbly, not doing anything at the moment. Just thinking, just letting the brain go. Are you going to fill a circle? So another one here. We come through here. Just see what that's like. It's going through there. So you, you've got spaces here. These can come, these can change. There. You've got something coming round again. You could do another one here if you wish, or do another one coming through. You can make this one come up here, and it could go through there if you just, just doodle. Now I'm looking at it from one angle, and I don't know what this is looking like from the other thing. See, my angles can be wrong. Now this is a bit squashed on the top here. Looking from this angle, it's like that. Do you know when you dr are driving sometimes on the road, they have these elongated letters. When you come up and you stand alongside them, they're stretched out. But because you're standing at another angle, they all foreshorten. And then you see the word slow or halt on the road. Exactly like this. <coughs> so it's your angle of view sometimes that's deceptive. And you don't always get the correct thing. So, I'm not always doing this perfect. And I'm turning this around, presuming it's under the screen still. So I'm doing this now. Because it is mainly all scroll that I'm doing like this, I'll give you just another little thing. So we've got a space here. Now, I do on some of my scrolls this. Now, this can be a vase or a vase, as Americans use their terminology, it's like this. So that is virtually a W. You see? It's a W here. This is a double type of plant. And so I'm going to, there's the stem here. As I said, we didn't have no concept of what we're doing, but we use these various things uh, here. So I'm going to make just an idea coming this way, because it's following the circle. It's a whirlpool. You see, everything's spiralling around. So I have this. It's going to fill a space here. I could put, yeah, I will put there, a, a, a bottom base so it's a, it's a plant or a flower that's got something like this you see and so this I'm doing this is virtually quite finely I so I went out of view nobody told me anyway, I'll have to check and then I will do something like so this is just to give me the rough idea of how, how things are going to go and I move it around here and I can correct this all later when I'm just getting the rough layout, you see. So it's like this. And with a pencil, you can put out your thought marks first, you see, like so. I'm making this relatively simple. It can be complex. But you see, you've already uh, uh, constructed a flower, a plant, uh, here. That's, now it's taken up that space here. It could end up like a head of a of a uh, of a scroll, if I wish. I, I will do it in the, the, that way, okay? Like so. So I'll make a scroll out of this, but I will make it with a larger head and a little bit more here. Here, it conforms to this. You see, it works on there. You can do it a little bit here. The pencil is an HB, I think, a 2H, it's a hard pencil, so it's not showing a lot of density at the moment. Okay, so here we go. So you see, it's filled up in virtually no time. Here, I can, I've can. i got to fill this space in here, and I could bring something here. Now, the virtue of vine leaves, 
is a good filler. Whereas this is like so. Now, if you want to make a vine leaf, I'll give you a, just a quick little tip. You just can make a little square if you want to, but it's from this angle, you see? So it actually works like a diamond. See the diamond shape? There's there, the button there. All you have to do now is to cut this piece here and cut this piece here like that. And uh, it's important you can bring this here like so. See, you've already got the construction of the way it goes. So it's like so here. And then you've got that. And then you're going to come here again to form this part of the leaf here. And now you have that. So not just one, two. It's got a leaf. It's already there, you see. And so here, I don't charge you for this. You suck that people will, for lessons, but good luck to them. So I take this one here, and I can fill this. So I could come back on there like that, and I've got a leaf like this here, you see. So I can take half of that leaf, because it's a, a side view, and work this way, you see. So that could still be a little square here, like so. But all I do is that, and that, and that again. And then I will do this from the sideways here. One, two. You see, so now that's already got a leaf like that. So I could bring the stem of this down here, like so. This guy here, he wants to come through. So I either get him an eraser, and erase a little bit of space here, and bring him around here, you see. So I can put a leaf in here, and I can bring that around and put the head around there, you see. So I could erase that mark here, make this look as though it's coming underneath here, but these guys are going to come out from there. This guy is coming here, okay, around here. This one's come underneath. I might want to put another little leaf in this here. I'm doing it fast, as you notice. But I've had no idea of what it's going to be like at the moment. I've got some idea because I've done things like this before. Now, it's either there, but because I like space, and things I can turn this over here you see because it's got one two three it's a it's a wave on the ocean it's there's you get that beautiful lines of rhythm the breeze blowing through the trees and making the movement so that's what you need is movement yeah it's got that movement it's the waves are tumbling over you're surfing over the top of this and coming this way all right so now you've got this. Now you, you, you will say to yourself, that goes over. This, is, uh, this has gone over there, and that's gone over there. But do you want this to go over the top of that leaf? Well, we'll see. So this part can go underneath. So I'll start here to put a series of leaves in here on this stem here. But I don't like that bare back like, well... This one's got to come out, so we'll see how she works out. Okay, so now we've got this, and we're going to take it over the top of this guy here, right? So it can go like that. So this is going underneath. We're going to erase this little bit here. You can do that with these little putty rubbers, and all I do is just dab, dab, dab. It's a back of an envelope, and this is just quickly done like so, right? So that's over the top there. Okay, so we're working it this way. I'm trying to keep this uh, video short again because they keep on telling me uh, it's out of time. So I'm bringing this around here. I can make a better one. And I can make this around here. 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 You put another one in here. here. You can do all this type of thing. And you'll just look at the other leaves I've performed on the other things so you can create a nice leaf here so now that's already done that you see so I'm working up here I've got something here to fill so this guy here could move out like that you see and then I could form another leaf in here you see so that makes this movement here okay so there we are. So now you've got this, and you've got already got the leaf, this here. So it's growing from inside here. But it's... <clears throat> this naughty boy wants to smother this here.
but he's determined to go up to the sunlight. So here we go, he's grown through there. So now, to make this look a bit more sturdy, that can hold this big weight up here, I am going to put another leaf coming out here, like that, and just thicken the stem there. So now it's not top heavy, it's, it's, it's able to take the weight of this. It's not drawn with finesse, but it's just showing how you can perform. So now you're gonna show that that stem is going through this one here. I could refine this a bit later and show you the finished result. But there we are, we're going this way. It's a good thing just to do a quick rough sketch to give you an idea. And um, because I'm doing things in stages and showing you, of course I've got the experience and I don't expect other people to, to have that, but I'm trying to give you the confidence in saying, yeah, I can do that. All I need to do is practice it. And you go around. And you don't need to copy anybody else after a while. As you saw, you just, once you get the layout, you can use this combination of different shapes here. You see? So you've got a space there. Now, how do I fill that? Oh, I've forgotten all about this guy. I could have put something in it. But this one, oh, let's put another leaf in there to balance that out. Give him a little bit more. Yeah, it's a growing thing, so you can shove this guy in here, you see, and shade that down later on. We're going to cut the background. And maybe you could put another one here, and it could go through there. It could go here, oh, excuse me, and it could go, and it could fold over a little bit on this one, if I wanted to. Okay. <laughs> I'm jumping the gun a little bit, but I'm just showing you. Okay, so now we have this here. I don't know if we can see it under there, but I'm not going um, too rapidly. I'm not I'm forgetting about the viewers, but uh, you know me. I hope you do now. Yeah. A bit forgetful at times of how it. So now we can bring this here and bring something up here. Yeah, you can make it come from another way. You can make it come from here. Still fill that gap. But yeah, I'll do that. Stay. Just a bit of fun, just to do a little bit. Here's a leaf here that comes off the back of this one. Now, this guy here, if I wanted it, or this one, which one should we do it? I, well, I like that with the rhythm there. So here, I could just put a little knob on there, or a little something coming here, like so, like so. And then I could do something like that, it doesn't matter. You're just showing you, you can fill things in. So now we're going back to this guy here, and we're going to fill this side in. All right, so this is what, in some respects, is a rough sketch. And once you get your rough sketches out, you've created ideas. Then you refine them, and then you will see other things that you can better. And... Uh, you can do this, you see, it's, because it's a lousy piece. It's an envelope, and the back of an envelope, and something underneath it is a bit wobbly. But that's why you don't worry, because you can always throw bits of paper, paper away. But I always say, don't throw away your, your sketches and things like that, because if you keep them for a few months or years or something like that, you can see how you improve. But if you discard everything, you can't see your progress. We all make mistakes. Uh, th that's why they put erasers on the tips of pencil, a box of pencils, you know, because they expect you to make a mistake. So that's what you do to score. Isn't it? Right, am I still in here? Yes, I am. Okay. It's good to talk to yourself, you know, because it's uh, you, only intelligent person listening. <laughs> okay. There's something under there. So it's this thing here. Okay. So now I'm going to think, where am I going to go from here? I can put another one in here. I could put a little one here, but I might want to put something through here, you see, like that. And create that. Okay, so now I've got another type of scroll here. I could fill that in with a leaf here, like so. 
and then I could bring that one around and do that, do that with it. And then I have a band here, it could be a band. And then I've got another leaf here, or whatever here. This is what you do, you see, you build up things and then you can shade it down. You do that with experience. And then I will put, so you have this one here, and so I could put another guy here like this. I didn't know I was going to do this, but I'm just shoving it in. Right. So. Okay, now we've got all that. Now you go along the edge here. You want to make a rim around the edge. You will come alongside it. Don't come straight off the edge here. All right, we'll start something here. You're going to streamline it here. It's waves breaking on the shore. It's coming back on itself. It's coming here again. It's flowing up there. It's going to come back here. It's not going to come off straight there. It's running along the beach and it's going to hit the thing again. You're coming here. You're going to do this all the way around and you're going to vary these little things according to the space. You, you will do this and you turn your paper if it's still in. It's still in view. Getting used to this, you know. I hope I do. <laughs> You can never be too conceited to find out. Because there's always a gremlin in the works and he's going to mess things up. But as you can see, I'm doing it fast uh, for time. Especially my time, because these time go off. And then if you're interested in these types of things, just let me know. And we can do these. These are quite good in some ways as... Once you get used to doing your design, and you've got a disc here, and it's small, they're pretty good for practicing on. Well, squares are good too, but a disc sometimes like this has the benefit of giving you the spirals to, to see. Maybe you don't always want to put this type of thing in. You can put in the, as I say, the crescents. Sabres and sharp edges, you know, but of course that to me is soft The difference between this is it's like soft clouds and Shall we say a female? I'm sorry ladies, but that's the way I think of you all lovely and soft and round and curvy and so that's what you do whereas instruments of Shall we danger and that are all sharp edged which are these type of things you see teeth and that so sometimes i like to get this softness around you see so and it gets to flow and it's according to your temperament and what you like i hate these well i wouldn't say hate it's a word that shouldn't be used but i dislike these skulls that people keep on drawing on things in you know we're getting too near the end to keep on worrying about look at those things they're good but they become convention now, so when in the future they dig up all these coins that they're working on there, they think it's the kingdom of the dead. Now, well, here we go. Uh, I hope that's given you some sort of view. That's a quick. And then I can work on this. I'll do others. Again, see you soon.